In this video, we present our framework for integrating social media data in predictive analytics. In order to demonstrate our work, we apply this to box office movie prediction. This video will walk through a prediction of the movie Frozen, which was used for training in our user study. Our initial screen provides users with an overview of movies past and present, and users can search for a movie of interest. The main view is the number of tweets and YouTube comments aggregated by day. Lines can be highlighted via interactive selection. To the right of the main view is the bar graph showing weekly results. Each movie has space for two bars, representing the actual opening weekend gross and the model prediction range. In our user study, the actual value was removed. We begin our analysis by looking at the detailed view of Frozen. We quickly explore the sentiment and tweet trends. Next, we navigate to the feature selection view. Here, the user is presented with a table list of all available features in the data set. Features are colored based on their correlation to the item being predicted. In this case, the opening weekend gross. We can sort the table by correlation or search for specific features by category. The user can select features of interest and begins by selecting the weekend screens and corrected budget for a movie. From here, the user may go to the Explore Model screen and perform a linear regression prediction. The user is also provided information on the top five most similar movies based on the parallel coordinate features. The red dots in the scatter plot <coughs> represent those movies. The black solid line is the candidate movie predicted value, and the dashed lines are the upper and lower bounds. After investigating the model, the user may return to the feature selection page and choose to include social media features, selecting the YouTube trailer views. The user then runs these features through a linear regression model and compares the expected gross. Note that the two models are very far apart in their prediction bounds. Next, the user decides to further explore similar movies and looks at similarity based on tweets, YouTube views, and movie genre. Here the user can see that family movies have typically outperformed our model. Next, the user navigates back to the feature selection page and decides to include Twitter features in the model. The user now creates a <coughs> support vector machine model. And compares this to the previous results. Finally, the user explores the data in the parallel coordinate plot. and decides to only model movies that have an extremely wide release. They filter the movie <coughs> based on number of weekend screens, over 3,000 screens, and choose to use this selected set of movies in the training data set. Now there are 46 data points in the training set, and they run a support vector machine model. After the creation of four models, the user does a comparison and sees that the models range from 56 million to approximately 85 million. The model with the highest R-squared value is at 61.6 million, which is somewhat near the low end of our prediction range. The user may adjust to move a little bit higher or may choose to use the model with the highest R-squared. For comparison, the experts from BoxOffice.com and BoxOfficeMojo predicted 44 and 47 million respectively, although clearly for this example we already have known the answer. Thank you.